Good evening, Larson Heights Elementary, and welcome to Bedtime Stories with Mrs. Schlotzko. So I was talking to some kids the other day at recess, and we were talking about nursery rhymes, and they were like, what are you talking about, Mrs. Schlotzko? And they had no idea, because no one had ever read them nursery rhymes. So I thought we would start, I would read a couple nursery rhymes as well, with the picture books, of course. I'm not going to leave those out. But... One of my very most favorite nursery rhymes is The Gingerbread Man, and then Lane Shishka and, um, John Shishka and Lane Smith have a um, book called The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales. So I thought I would read you the real story first, the old one, and then I would read you the new one. So we're gonna start with The Gingerbread Man, and then we're going to go to The Stinky Cheese Man. So there once was, this is the gingerbread man, there once was an old husband and his wife who lived in a little cottage and most of the time they were happy and sometimes they were not. One day the wife thought that she would please her husband by cooking him some gingerbread and she made two gingerbread men and cooked them in the oven. When they were ready, the husband picked up one of the gingerbread men to have a taste of it and the other gingerbread man saw him take a big bite out of it. This is no place for me, thought the second gingerbread man, and he jumped off the table onto the floor and ran out the door. The old man and the old woman tried to catch the gingerbread man, but he was too quick for them, and away he went before they could hobble after him. The gingerbread man called after them, Run, run, as fast as you can, but you won't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he went into the woods until he came to a tailor shop, and in he went to see what he could see there. There were three tailors sitting in the shop, sewing in the shop, and as soon as they caught sight of the gingerbread man, they dropped their needles and thread and tried to catch him to eat him. But he was too quick for them and ran away. And away he went before they could get the stiffness out of their hands in order to catch him. The gingerbread man called after them, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Away he went into the world until he came to a weaver's shop. A weaver is a person who makes clothing. Um, and in he went to see what he could see. Or actually, they don't make necessarily clothing. They make material or um, uh, cloth. There was the weaver looking at his loom and his wife winding the wool. And as soon as they caught sight of the gingerbread man, they dropped their wool and tried to catch him to eat him. But he was too quick for them and he ran between the loom and the wool until it was all tangled and the weaver and his wife tripped over the tangle and away went the gingerbread man. He called after them. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Away he went into the world until he came to a farmhouse where the farmer's children were churning butter in a big churn. As soon as they caught sight of the gingerbread man, they wanted to eat him with the butter they had made and they ran to and fro trying to catch him, but he was too quick for them and he ran between their feet and knocked over the churn and away he went as they were picking it up. He called after them, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Away he went into the world until he came to a mill where the miller was grinding flour. As soon as he caught sight of the gingerbread man, the miller wanted to eat him. Sit down with me, gingerbread man, he said. I like the thought of gingerbread and cheese. But the gingerbread man was too quick for him, and he ran out of the door while the miller was cutting up his cheese. The gingerbread man called after him, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And away he went once more until he came to a house where the mother was stirring a pot of steaming hot soup. Sit down with us, gingerbread man, the mother said. Gingerbread will be welcome after we have finished eating our soup. But the gingerbread man was too quick for her and he knocked over the pot and ran out while she threw the big soup spoon after him. The gingerbread man called after her. You can run as fast as you can, but you won't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Away he went into the world again until he came to a house where the man and his wife were about to go to bed. The man was just taking his trousers off when they caught sight of the gingerbread man and wanted to eat him. Throw your trousers over him, shouted the wife to her husband, and so he did. But the gingerbread man was too quick for them and ran away. The wife tripped over the trousers and the husband ran after the gingerbread man 
with his legs all naked in the cold night air, and they ran and they ran until it was too dark to see where they were going. The gingerbread man called after them, run, run as fast as you can, but you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Then the husband went back home all cold and hungry, but the gingerbread man went on into the world until he was tired out. In the end, he came across a hole in the ground and went into it, but it was a fox's hole. And the fox said to him, whoever you are, you are welcome here, and ate him all up. So that was the end of the gingerbread man. So the gingerbread man is the old nursery rhyme that my mom read to me when I was little. But then when not very long ago, let me see what, what the date is on this. Hmm. I cannot find the copyright date on it. Anyway, it's not that old. It's maybe 20 years old. And Mrs. Schatz goes way older than that. So this is The Stinky Cheese Man and other fairly stupid tales. I encourage you to go and check it out from the library. Mrs. Holm has it in there, just waiting for you to go get it. And there are lots of other funny stories in it. So this is The Stinky Cheese Man. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived together in a little old house. They were lonely. So the little old lady decided to make a man out of stinky cheese. She gave him a piece of bacon for a mouth and two olives for eyes and put him in the oven to cook. And that is the stinky cheese man. When she opened the oven to see if he was done, the smell knocked her back. Pee-you! Woo! What is that terrible smell, she cried. The stinky cheese man hopped out of the oven and ran out the door calling, run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The little old lady and the little old man sniffed the air. I'm not really very hungry, said the little old man. I'm not really all that lonely said the little old lady. So they didn't chase the stinky cheese man. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met a cow eating grass in the field. Wow, what is that awful smell, said the cow. Ooh, see there, she just about knocked the little old lady and the little old man over. There's the cow, can you see it? Over right there in the corner. The stinky cheese man said, I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man, and I can run away from you too. I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The cow gave another sniff and said, Phew, I bet you could give someone two or three stomach aches. I think I'll just eat weeds. So the cow didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met some kids playing outside school. Ugh, gross, said a little girl. What's that nasty smell? I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man and a cow, and I can run away from you too, I can. Run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. A little boy looked up, sniffed the air and said, if we catch him, our teacher will probably make us eat him. Let's get out of here. So the kids didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. Okay, you gotta check out this picture. It's a pretty good one. Have you ever seen a cow do that? Me neither. That must be one stinky cheese man. By and by, the stinky cheese man came to a river with no bridge. How will I ever cross this river? It's too big to jump, and if I try to swim across, I'll probably fall apart said you know who. Just then, the sly fox, who shows up in a lot of stories like these, poked his head out of the bushes. Why, just hop on my back and I'll carry you across, stinky cheese man. How do I know you won't eat me? Trust me, said the fox. So the stinky cheese man hopped on the fox's back. The fox swam to the middle of the river and said, oh man, what is that funky smell?
The fox coughed, gagged, and sneezed, and the stinky cheese man flew off his back and into the river, where he fell apart. The end. Have a wonderful evening, Larson Heights, and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow morning. Come tell me about the stinky cheese man and show me your sheet that you are filling out for our contest against North, because you know, we want Mrs. Frederick to come and serve our lunch, not the other way around. Have a great evening and soar with the Eagles, Larson Heights.